Hello there. Thank you for joining me for the Business of Gratitude Marketing. My name is Kate Lanigan McGregor, and I am really excited that you're going to be taking this journey with me. As a result of being here with me today, you will understand why gratitude marketing has to be a strategic and comprehensive approach to your marketing and why it's so important for you. You can find all of my information at www.kate.realtor. In today's topics, we are going to be talking about good old-fashioned thank you notes and how you want to send them to your current and potential clients. How to use big data and the Internet of Things to your benefit and why you need reviews and how to get them and what to do with them. As I said, this is more than just sending out a thank you note. This is actually a business strategy for you. So I call it the business of gratitude marketing. And the Gratitude Marketing by the Bold Day Challenge is a marketing system based on one thank you note per day sent to a client, peer, person of interest with a strategic and special message that only is unique between you and them, handwritten by you, branded with your special signature, tracked and included on your database, and they become part of your client appreciation program. I love acronyms and for the Gratitude Marketing by the Bold Day Challenge, I want you to think CARDS. C stands for Catch Them Doing Something Right. A is Practicing an Attitude of Gratitude. R is for Record and Add to Your Database. D is Make It Daily. Make it a prospecting habit that you get into daily. And S is Don't Forget Your Special Significant Message. Your gift to them of your words. The question I often get is, I can't do this daily. Who am I going to write them to? So the first person I'm going to suggest is someone who you've looked up to, uh, your mentor or a coach or a guidance counselor or a teacher. And in this picture is a picture of my dad. And he is part of my, my real estate company at this point in time. And he is actually one of the strongest gratitude marketers out there. And he also is the recipient of many wonderful messages. So I want to say, and I want to challenge you, if this 79 to be 80 next month year old man can get out and write those thank you notes each day. We can too. Write an apology. Has there been somebody that's been on your mind that you wish that you had said something to and now you feel that the time has gone too far and it's too late to write out to them? Well, guess what? It's not. They would love to hear from you. One of the most powerful things you can do is say, hey, listen, I've been thinking about you. I know a long time has passed. I was just wanted to say and then dot, dot, dot. And that's where your special strategic message comes in. Send a note of congratulations. Is there something that's happened that's wonderful to somebody that's in your life? Send them a note of congratulations. I know one person who, when they can't think of who to write their notes to, goes through the newspaper on the weekends, cuts out all of the business newsmakers, the weddings, the births, the honor rolls, the graduations, and clips those out. Sometimes they laminate them, sometimes they don't. And then they send them to either that person that person's parents, that person's children, and they make it something that makes it significant. And they say something to the effect of, hey, I thought you might want an extra copy of this. What exciting news this is. Everybody wants to see that. Write an offer to help or showing concern. On this slide, I show you what I think is probably one of the most brilliant forms of gratitude marketing is one woman's dog was sick. And so another woman sent a card to her with pictures of her dogs saying my dogs hope your dog feels better and while it seems like it's really corny that will that person will never forget that card okay so think of a way that you can express concern or offer to help because you know what people sometimes could use a hand do something totally unexpected my daughter for my birthday I mean for Christmas wrote a card a day those little slips each had a compliment or something that reason that she loved me on them and I was blown away and um, it was something that was so significant and it was really a transformational uh, part of our relationship you know and honestly some of them are really funny some of them were definitely not compliments but the fact that she thought about 365 things to say about me was just so impactful how do you write a card I call it vowel soup the first is O for observation find an observable thing that our act that they did for you. And rather than saying, you did a great job today, say, hey, that catch you had out in the, the field was so amazing. I, you know, 
I don't think anybody could have caught that ball. So make it something specific and make it something that's observable. The second is state what the impact was for you. So I was just talking about those, those notes that my daughter sent me and the impact that they had. I had to share with her what that impact was. If somebody did something nice for you, what impact did it have on you? Make sure you share that. And then the last is appreciation. Explain how that appreciation has affected you and um, letting them know how grateful you are. So why now? Why is it so important to get back to basics and have that human touch where you're reaching out and touching that person? And I call it big data versus little old me. So big data is all of that Internet of Things, all of the accumulation of information that uh, all of the Google and, and Microsoft and Facebook and all of these all of these things that all of our data is being dumped into and all of the information that's out there you know what it's getting a little overwhelming and when I think about that and I say well what can I do on a personal level to be in control of my profession and I know it's relationships and I know that big data has no relationships with my clients and so I reach out to those people on a personal level so that I am driving my bus not get being a passenger on the bus of big daddy I don't know if you've been following, but News Corp and Zillow have been at this war and it's been going on and they're all fighting for the rights of who owns uh, what data and who's taking from whom or whatever. But it's, you know, these algorithms that they're creating about rankings on us and ratings on us and, and uh, you know what, it's out of our hands. So you need to take control of your life and you need to, as I say, drive your bus. I have to be honest, when I started the Gratitude Marketing, it was on a hunch and on a, on a feeling that I, ha I had to do something personally. I decided to write an ebook about it and when we wrote the ebook, we found the proof and the proof came from Harvard Business School and others and what it talked about was that gratitude marketing is likely the missing medium uncovered in their findings and they said gratitude marketing may provide the explanation for the direct effect of relationship investment on, on, on seller performance. What it said was that gratitude marketing absolutely has a causal effect on business professionalism and performance. So if you want to be a high performer, gratitude marketing should be a key piece of your performance. So the Bold Day Challenge takes all of this information I'm giving you and it on boldday.com is the ability to join the Bold Day Challenge. And what that does is you would write one note per day you enter, you get a tracker every day and you fill in the tracker, you send it in and it gets populating onto your own private database. And that way you can create a list and a system of who it is that you're sending notes to and how it is that you're marketing for them and to them. So some really cool things about the Bold Day Challenge is that those cards can be marketed and personalized for you. You can have them be your your signature, you can have them be your logo on the back, you can have your call to action, and it's something that you can create a true marketing plan around it, and you can brand them, and as I said, 98% open rate for greeting cards. And of that, if they're beautiful, and if there's a nice message in there, over 70% get kept. So you have a confidential tracker, and that confidential tracker has their names, the date you sent it, what your special message was to them, it has their birthday if you have it, the email if you have it, and it becomes your hub for your, your client appreciation program. And what happens is now you can take that tracker and that database and you can create so many opportunities for how you're going to stay in touch with them as you go forward. So the idea is to simply start. So resist the urge to try to do everything perfectly, okay? People like you. People like personal. People love gaffes. So anyways, we created a Make It A Bold Day card, which is available for you. And you can also use any cards, really. I call it the Good Better Best. The Good is a generic thank you card. Okay, you can buy them anywhere. You can buy them, you know, in, in packs of 25 or something like that. A Better would be an inspirational or custom card. Um, and the, the better part of that would be that it's something that you think that they may keep a little bit longer. And then again, the best is your custom card with your brand that you chose and also a quote, colors, and also your call to action, like either your website, your email address, your telephone number, on the back. So it's like having a business card forever. So here's some examples of that better and, 
and good. Okay, so the better on the right shows some inspirational cards that have been designed. And as I said, you can take them and you can flip them over and you can personalize your professional brand, your call to action, or, or you can even just getting them out. The goods are good too. Those are, those are pictures of a card that we bought en masse from, I think, Staples. Okay, and again, the best is the custom card. You create it and you, just, you decide exactly how you want it to be. So then you want to have some sort of surprise in there. Okay, I normally send a branded coffee card. If I, again, I, um, those are some of the examples of my branded coffee cards. And then I would also take, as I said, that thing that I saw in the paper, I'd put that in there. Um, you know, so, so give them a surprise. Another way of surprising them is Facebook gives you 10 days notice on their birthdays. Send them a birthday card or call them or go to Facebook and make a birthday video for them. Do something that's a surprise for them. But again, something that lets them know that you're thinking of them and that they're special to you. You want to hand address your card. The White Pages app has home addresses and then you can save them right into your contacts. Choose whether you feel the home or business is address is most appropriate and then your return address should go on the back flap. So beware of shortcutting sabotage. So what is considered sabotaging your efforts while, sh while shortcutting? The first is phoning it in, trying to work the system. So you send a card without the name, strategic differentiation, or a warm sign off with your name. Okay, so you miss that opportunity to make it special. The second is if you are in an items of value campaign where you send out a monthly uh, letter or something to your, your database is if you count that as your gratitude marketing. Um, if you dump right, where you send a generic handwritten message to multiple people. Again, I think about when I see, for me, when I see people send more than 10 or more in a given day, I'm like, that's really hard to f stay special on, on that number of cards. Um, doing labels or using a service that has uh, the fonts that are handwritten, but you actually know that they're not handwritten. Okay, they can definitely be a useful part of your business strategy, but you lose some impact on that. And again, I want to just stress, this is about building relationships. Clients come because of your reputation and they stay because of your gratitude. I believe that you are successful if you've provided a significance in that person's life. We call that inspiration marketing and that's taking gratitude marketing to the next level. So what happens during gratitude marketing? You, you become a more appreciative individual. When you get in the habit of looking for something to be grateful and, when you, and then when you try and remember something special about that person, you are naturally going to become happier and more satisfied because of practicing gratitude. Your business. You will stand out from the crowd. Sending thank you notes is visual confirmation that they are significant. Practicing sincere acts of gratitude on a regular basis changes individual perceptions of the world and also changes the culture of your business. Just think about how little it takes to hold the door for someone and how few people today bother to say thank you in person when doing so. Again, handwritten notes are open 98% of the time. Just think about how little it takes to make that, in, that significance for that person. And please, consider doing it. Have you ever heard that if I say something about me, you may not believe it, but if somebody else says something about me, then you find that it has validity and truth? Well, that's why you want reviews, and that's why you want to get praise from people also. So on this page are a few of my reviews, and I just want to let you know that there are so many people who have been impacted and have been positively affected by the fact of gratitude marketing. Again, it's not me, it's the system. And how do I know that this works? Well, I have a strategic and comprehensive approach to my businesses, and I have the real estate, the development, the instruction, and the marketing. And what all of those do together is they create a system that we can naturally and authentically market. And I just know from the success that I see around me that it's impactful, but guess what? It's also fun and I love doing it. And I love having that impact on people's lives. So I want us to connect. I want to check in on you, okay? Here's how you can find me, okay? And when you find somebody on one of these social media things, what you want to do is find them, friend them, follow them, and then you want to start sharing their information and you want to start commenting on their things. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But what I want you to know is that I want to help you. Okay, so let's connect and let's work on this together. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see how the gratitude marketing makes your day even bolder.